Welcome everyone to the second episode of my monthly huddle. It's the end of February 2019. I am on my way on my way to work and uh, I figure I might as well take this time to talk to you and uh, give you my uh, monthly update. It's been uh, quite busy for me uh, personally, so it's very hard to make these videos uh, in the evening and even on weekends. So it's now it gets pretty light out. It's 6:20. I left my house kind of late today, uh, but hope, you know, hoping that I could make this video and, uh, and and connect with you and give you a quick update. I uploaded a couple of videos, which a lot of you uh, seem to have liked. Uh, mainly the the tail light uh, tint video. I'm still very happy with it. I think it looks killer. I'm not gonna lie. I had to redo one side that was slightly peeling. So what I ended up doing is I actually ended up removing the tail light and, uh, and and redoing it. But other than that, the tint has been holding up fine, no issues, and I still love the way it looks. I also coated my uh, car as well. A lot of you really liked that video. It was an easy way to code with uh, Beamer code. Uh, I still use it. I've got a next video uh, that I want to film where I'm going to teach you how to do some advanced coding. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And I believe that the exhaust video uh, came out this month as well. I'm not sure. Uh, I want to give you a quick update on my front lip. Uh, the car is pretty low and I've got that uh, lightweight front lip. And I've got to say it's the best lip I've had to date. It can take so much abuse. I scrape it pretty much every day. Uh, getting into my driveway even though my driveway is uh, is not as steep I drive it during the winter I snow plowed the neighborhood with my front lip and it was still very very awesome so uh, um, a lot of you have been asking me hey would you ever go back to a uh, carbon fiber lip I want to say no because uh, this is the best lip uh, there is takes a lot of abuse uh, and it's just the best lip for daily driving speaking of daily driving so I've had a bit of a dilemma lately uh, that I've been struggling with and I think I may have overcome it but uh, um, but just hear me out. So I commute to and from the train station with my car. It's a 2017 so obviously you know it costs a bit of money and I'm like does it make sense to use this car 10 minutes a day to commute to and from the train station? Two, the car wakes up the neighborhood a little bit even uh even uh with the flaps closed and and three i hate warming it up in the morning or at the end of the day when i get to the train station i want to get home as fast as possible but me being a sensible car guy i have to warm it up and uh, to, to make sure i don't damage the uh, the engine when i start driving it in cold temperatures so that gave me an idea what if I sold the car and got an electric car? So I was kind of going back and forth with the uh, with the idea and uh, the idea that came up with, and don't jump to any conclusion just yet, just hear me out. Uh, I thought that I would purchase uh, or lease a BMW i3. Uh, I've read a lot about those cars. Uh, people seem to love them. I kind of like the design and, and it, the, the non hybrid one gives you about 80 90 miles of range that'll be perfect for my uh, for my weekly driving i'll probably charge it once a week if that so i've been kind of going back and forth with the idea uh, but i think i'm gonna wait for now because uh, i just uh, enjoy driving this car too much uh, I, I know it's a big waste of money for me especially since this year i don't know if I get to go to that many track days because I'm expecting a baby number two, uh, so it might be a uh, it might be a bit uh, a bit of a challenge. I'm also contemplating <laughs> at the same time upgrading my wife's car. She drives a 2015 uh, Volvo XC60, and uh, she keeps telling me that we could get a nicer family SUV, hint hint Range Rover Sport maybe. Uh, and I could just get an electric car, but I don't know. I, I, maybe I'm being a bit selfish, but I kind of like driving this car, even though it's a big waste of money. But I don't know. Tell me, what would you do if you were in my situation? Uh, would you do the most, the more sensible thing, and and get a get a fun and and cool SUV that you can drive on weekends with your family, or would you stick to uh, 
to having what I have and, uh, and, and calling it a day. Oh, and last thing. So when I was kind of flip-flopping about the, uh, the, the electric car, I said, you know what, maybe I get an electric car and if I decide not to get it, I'm gonna wrap my car. So I'm actually toying with the idea of wrapping my car. As much as I love the, uh, the Yas Marina Blue, I think it's a bit loud and I, 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 I enjoy the attention, but I don't necessarily like it. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Uh, sometimes when uh, people comment on your car, it, it's kind of cool, but sometimes it gets a bit much. And sometimes I would like to pull into a spot where you don't necessarily uh, turn heads. Uh, so I was thinking of maybe a sort of a darker blue, uh, similar to what you get. I forgot what that blue is called uh, on the um, on the BMW CS. Uh, but let me know if you if you had this car, what color would you possibly wrap it in? I haven't really had the time to study the car industry this month. Uh, two things, yeah, I did some research about the BMW i3, and I again, I, I kind of like it but I'm sort of on the fence, I'm flip-flopping, so I'm waiting for your thoughts on that one. And uh, two is, I am going to the New York Auto Show in April. Uh, I'm gonna get a special pass that's gonna allow me uh, access before the general public uh, gets access to it. So if there are any cars that you would like to see or if would like me to highlight uh, that are going to be at the New York Auto Show, please don't let there be a, don't don't let it be a, the new Supra because I really don't like it. Uh, but if there are any high, uh, cars you want me to highlight, let me know and I'll do my best to do so. And look, we're ready at the train station. Which parking spot do I take today? I have a couple of parking spots that I take now because. They're just easy. I like to take this. Actually, you know what? Let's get freaky and take this one. The beauty of this camera is that you can know exactly when you're hugging the line. And I love to hug the line. That guy's not gonna bump me in the back. Beautiful. There are a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about. Uh, first thing is I get hit up by these vendors all the time. Uh, they want to send me free LED bulbs, uh, free phone mounts, uh, mounts for uh, you know for me to test and maybe do a quick video. I typically disregard those uh, those emails because uh, I don't think it will be fair. I don't want to be influenced by some by someone giving me a, a free product. But. Uh, would you want me to do something like that? Uh, something about LED light bulbs or uh, or, or phone mounts? Uh, there, there's a company that reached out to me and they said, "Hey, we have this new wireless charging phone mount that's that's perfect for the BMW." Uh, so maybe I'll do that. But let me know. Uh, I don't want to dilute the channel with with stuff that are not really uh, that cool or maybe stuff that are frowned upon. But let me know what you think. And then the last thing. Uh, I wanted to thank you for, uh, for for watching my content. I want to thank you for commenting. I try to respond to every single comment uh, that's out there, and there's a lot of them. Uh, but sometimes YouTube doesn't notify me of all the comments. Uh, so there are comments that I may have missed, so I apologize for that. Again, I try to be as much engaged with you with you as possible. So if there's anything that I did not respond to, don't take this the wrong way, uh, it's just I did not get the notification. But I hope you continue to still watch and, and enjoy it. Now for the next couple of weeks I'm relying on a couple of videos that I have in the queue for you guys. And I will try to find a moment to, f to film a video. Why? Because as I mentioned earlier, I'm expecting baby number two any day now, uh, in a, actually in two weeks. Uh, so my time might be uh, pretty, pretty busy. And I also started a new job, uh, so I try to put in as many hours as possible, even though today I'm going in uh, kind of late. Uh, but, so so bear with me, I am still here, I'm still enjoying the channel. Uh, I will try to do uh, weekly uploads, but if, if there's a week, ooh, but if there's a week that I uh, that I miss, don't worry, I'm still here. And anyway, sorry, that was kind of a a comment, uh, 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 collection of random comments. As I realized that I lost my microphone. Uh, but let me know what you think down below. Uh, I want to thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next video this Sunday. Bye bye.